Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at this 24 inch smart TV from Sailbox. It has a TV tuner built in, DVD player, and Android 10 operating system. The form factor is the same as the monitor I'm using in the background, but it has a slimmer be bezel. Most importantly, it is again designed for RV use. So I'm using the Jackery power station to drive the whole setup which is only consuming 26 watts of power uh, via the 12 volt output. If I'm zooming a little bit, you can see the incredible low power consumption. So it's going to last me 12.8 uh, hours. Coming back to the TV, uh, after I press the home button, it goes back to the Android screen and it has um, many other functionalities built in. I'm going to walk you through all these ports in the back and I'll show you how the DVD player works. It has physical button controls in the back, supports the VESA mount, um, and so on. Uh, very compact and well-designed package. The TV antenna I'm using is from Mohu. Is, this is the desktop version. Uh, you can place it anywhere in the room or hang it uh, high up if the reception is not good enough. It, also, it is also powered by the USB power source and it can be turned off. The amplifier can be turned off uh, if you feel like a signal is strong enough. It has two USB ports on the left side. I'm going to pull uh, closer. And a 3.5 headphone jack, the USB 1 and 2. It has a IPS screen, so the viewing angle is excellent. Uh, matte finish, even though I'm using a um, pretty bright lamp here, as you can see, the glare is not that bad compared to a gl glass finish. So again, it is designed for RV use, so uh, usually it is, um, we're watching TV in bright sunlight, uh, if you don't have the blinds closed. So I, I, I'm pretty happy with the image quality. And, and what's more, the Android OS supports the um, voice control remote. This is connected to the TV uh, using Bluetooth protocol. You can also use RB. Uh, there's a way to switch, but I highly recommend this one because LG OLED demo. Voice com command is awesome, so I don't have to type. Let's go here. And it also supports the Android, um, no, no, standard Chromecast. So I can, um, you know, move this fireplace over here, you know, easily from my phone. And let's take a look at the image quality first, then we will go over to the ports and see the DVD feature, right? And right now, let's take a look. The power consumption changed a little bit. It's actually 22 watts right now. Uh, it will last me 15.5 hours using the Jackery power station, which is uh, the uh, Explorer 300 Plus. Now I'm going to pull closer. Uh, just to be fair, I'm going to turn off all the lights. Computer, turn off the shop light. As you can see, the this is not OLED screen, but it's very, very dark. This is an IPS screen. Look at the how dark and the this contrast is amazing. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm trying. I'm using the best camera I have, the Sony A7S Mark III, for recording this video. This is a fantastic, uh, you know, all-in-one TV, TV tuner, uh, and if you have Wi-Fi connection in the RV, you should be able to, you know, watch any TV program or uh, stream Netflix, YouTube, uh, Amazon Prime Video, for example. Okay, and if I stream that fireplace, I can click the Chromecast, I'll disconnect from the other TV, from the other monitor that's not a TV. I pick this one, cast here, then 
that fireplace will be moved over. Okay, I'm gonna skip this ad for now. Computer, turn on the shop light, please. Um, hold on. Skip the ad. I think that's not nice to display the ad here. Okay, that's the um, that's the fireplace. I, I just basically moved over here. Now let's take a look at all the ports. It supports VESA mounting, which means uh, it has plenty of um, mounting options. You can, uh, you know, these mount mount mounting solutions are easily available on Amazon. You can use basically any monitor mounts. You know, these are spaced out as, you know, pretty standard. This is like four meters, four centimeters. It's a square, right? Uh, the maximum power consumption is rated at 34 watts. And I forgot to mention, you can always use these uh, AC port. The AC adapter is included, of course. It has a super long cord. This is very, very long, enough for <laughs> anyone. Basically, uh, I think it's like more than 12 feet long. I like this um, right angle 90 degree connection. So it, the cable is not bent at all. It comes with the 12 volt connection, of course. So there are two ways to power this. Um, now let me lay it flat so you can see what's in the back here. I'm gonna zoom in. So there is power connection, RJ45, there's ethernet port, right? You can, you know, currently it is connected to my router wirelessly, but you can optionally use the wired connection. Optical output, that gives me the access to the sound bar. Uh, for example, I can use a Bose sound bar to improve the sound quality. It does get very loud, but you can totally use a sound bar. Uh, it has two HDMI inputs, one and two, so it means you can connect to uh, Blu-ray, 4K players, or uh, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. It ha it has the uh, three point five, you know, these RG forty five outputs, so you can, uh, if you have an older sound bar, you can, you know, uh, get your sound out from these analog ports, and not to mention. We have a 3.5 headphone jack back there. So it has lots of options to connect to uh, audio, and audio and video devices. And on, the, uh, on this side, we have a DVD slot, which is, let, let me put in my uh, matrix reloaded. It's the, um, you know, slot type so there's no tray this is like a premium design in my opinion uh, back here we have power a channel switch menu option and volume selection then source selection the uh, the stand that came with it is secured by two screws but it's not angle adjustable it is not height adjustable it's completely fixed now let's take a look at the DVD player, which is a, it's a retro selection. I wish it has a, like a, at least a, like a 1080p uh, or, you know, 4K could be more, much more expensive. So let's come here. This is the remote. Uh, I'm gonna go to the source. Again, it is a Bluetooth connection which means you don't have to point this thing at the TV. You don't ha even have to have uh, the line of sight because, you know, Bluetooth connection is pretty cool. Okay, this is the DVD. It's very, <laughs> it's 480i, 60 hertz. This is a 60, her a 60 hertz panel, by the way. Yeah, I'll try it. Ho hold on, uh, press the wrong key. I'm gonna go to the DVD option. Maybe I have a bad disc, I don't know. Hold on, let me try that again. I totally watched a little bit of the Matrix here. Um, yeah, maybe we'll come back to the DVD later. I'm not sure if this, di uh, this disc works anymore. Um, I guess most people would m be more interested in the um, streaming service. I have Netflix and YouTube. Even if I accidentally, for example, go went to the uh, DVD option, I can totally press the YouTube and it will come back um, 
to the place where it's where I left off. So that's a ni nice feature, I guess, that largely because it has a larger RAM, so it does not kill the program running in the background. So you have uh, basically everything here, uh, the option to buy movies or stream other um, video source. or do the selection, you can jump, you know, it, the UI is completely, the, is entirely the same as any other Android uh, TV stuff. We have quick access to Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, uh, Amazon Prime Video, we have home menu, exit option, and all these controls for controlling the DVD player. Uh, let's come back here. I'm gonna show you the menu options. So go home and the settings. So from the settings uh, where we can change the Wi-Fi network. So that is my internet options, uh, the account sound, sound, sign in, the apps where I can uh, remove or you know install more apps. There are live TV options, so you can, you know, without the antenna, you can um, really see, uh, watch a lot of uh, different TV channels. And device preferences shows the about option. And system up upgrade is available because this is, again, an Android TV um, behind the scenes. I can rename, the device name is, by default, is Smart TV 2K. I can do the change and select uh, or enter a custom name. Coming back here, the, it does the factory reset. So basically it wipes out uh, the, all the settings. Okay. Your model number has the Netflix uh, unique string. So it's, it's actually it is the TV, uh, Android TV version 11, it's not the 10. Yeah, I made a mistake there. It has security patches, the build number, uh, down here we have a storage which is uh, 4.3 gigab gigabytes. So language. Oh, I forgot to mention you can totally connect a um, USB keyboard and start typing uh, and use it like a you know total uh, like a desktop experience. Display and sound. You know all these uh, settings are really pretty standard in uh, Android devices. I wanna uh, you know, um, highlight the energy saver because you can uh, have it turn off after 30 minutes you know, to conserve uh, power if you are uh, using the battery source from the car, uh, which I think is super important so it does not drain your battery in the car, in the RV, right? Where energy uh, consumption is gonna be a concern. And Google Assistant, the Chromecast is built in. I really like Chromecast. Yeah, that's it. And from the source option, we can go to the um, TV. Uh, we can uh, pick the HDMI source or the TV. The first one is the TV option. Okay, go TV. Come back here again. You would have to get a pretty high quality uh, antenna and position it correctly in the uh, in the car or in the room because it may get the signal may get blocked every time you move the antenna. You might want to uh, do the rescan of the channel. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you press menu button, go to the channel, then. The channel scan it does it even supports the uh, cable and antenna both so in this case I'm gonna do antenna it's gonna be digital it supports analog but I don't think that's available in the US because we converted to digital TV back in 2006 so this is um, the whole process of uh, scanning for channels I believe I got seven channels in this room which is not ideal because 
Um, uh, yeah, I have lots of metal objects around, so you want to stay away from these uh, things. It may take about two to three minutes to finish the whole scanning process. Um, yeah, and again, this antenna from um, Mohu should be posi positioned uh, really high. Uh, or if you are already, you know, sitting in a room that is on the, uh, for example, third floor, should be fine, but, you know. So, pretty cool design. Uh, looks like I got the same seven count uh, number of service found. Update database. It, it shows me all the basic information here. Fox News at 10 p.m. It's 720p at 60 hertz. All these informations are, information are displayed on the corner. And the uh, time frame, there is a guide button. So if you are into these um, wireless free over the air TV signals, you can you know, use the guide and take a look at the basically the TV schedule. So this is a real, very important. Uh, so if you are in the wild living in the RV, this is gonna be a pretty cool solution uh, to, you know, to understand uh, what's going on here and all these uh, available channels and their schedule. So if I wanna watch the uh, Fox News, come here. Oh, I can even do a time record. Look, there's a time recorder option. I didn't even notice that. Required capacity is 10 gigabits. So perhaps you can uh, enter, you know, plug in uh, a USB drive. I'm gonna do view, or there's a reminder option. Yeah, I, I don't see this kind of option from my TV, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool device. Um, or if you are living in a studio, a very compact uh, apartment, this could be a good solution for you. Let's go back to the, uh, oh yeah, the YouTube is still running in the background actually. This is pretty cool. How much bargain detergent does it take to clean this sky? Uh, it's about 20 bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal. Very interesting. Yeah, the remote is well designed. All these button press are, um, you know, have a nice feedback. The volume key. channel well I guess the channel also works in YouTube all right thank you very much for watching hope you find this review helpful